T minus 30 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. Off. The second umbilical tower moves away from the Soyuz. Preliminary. Preliminary. T minus five, four, three, two, one. You terminated. Prime and lift off. First stage okay. engines should be at flight speed now. Lift off. Lift off of the Soyuz rocket, transporting Attack. Mike Fink, Yuri Lonchakov, and Richard Garriott to their home in space. 20 seconds. Engine of stage one, stages one and two, operate nominally. Engines one and two operating nominally. Uh, launch structural parameters are nominal. Copy. Good roll and pitch program, according to flight controllers. Soyuz is heading toward a link-up with the International Space Station two days from now. Good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 102 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. First stage of the Soyuz is 68 feet in length, 24 feet in diameter, as it burns for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. 60 seconds. Pitch your roll nominal. Copy. 70. One minute into the flight of the Soyuz, everything nominal. Velocity is 1,100 miles an hour or 500 meters per second. 80 seconds, nominal flight. Ninety seconds, nominal flight. Engines of stages one and two operate nominally and stable. Hundred and ten seconds, nominal flight. One minute and 58 seconds, jettison of the four strap-on boosters. These have been completing their job and have dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. The Soyuz is traveling at about 3,350 miles an hour, or 1,500 meters a second at two minutes. Not 150 seconds. Stage two engines are nominal. Uh, two minutes into the flight of the Soyuz, all systems nominal. And seconds. Escape tower and launch shroud jettison. Uh, air and jettison. Uh, Receiving live in-cabin views of the crew aboard the Soyuz as they rocket into orbit. And 80 seconds. Stabilization nominal. Up. The Soyuz second stage is performing as advertised. The second stage of the Soyuz is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, with a single engine providing 96 tons of thrust for its 3 minutes and 28 seconds of operation. Two hundred and twenty seconds, flight nominal. Copy. Two hundred and forty seconds. Stage two engines are nominal. Copy. Two hundred and fifty seconds. Visiting vehicle officer here in mission control. Flights four minutes into the flight and all systems working well. Nominal. Up. Yeah. 
Wait nominal. Carver. Five minutes into the flight of the Soyuz, the core booster is burnt out and is separating at an altitude of 105 miles or 170 kilometers, and the third stage will begin ignition. Yuri, this is on a pyramid. How do you feel? Wonderful. How are your crewmates to your left and to your right? They are absolutely great guys. They are real space explorers. And um, when did you feel the most load? Right now or at the very beginning? No, right now we pretty much do not feel any extreme loads. It was only the beginning. What was the maximum GX load? Oh, well, I would say about 3.5. 3.5? Yes. Close. Uh, Anyway, between 3.5 and 4. So is that just how you felt it, right? Do you have any instrument that would show you the actual load? Okay. All right, guys. That was all the time I had. Somebody is taking the microphone from me. Thank you, Anatoly Nikolaevich. 380 seconds. Stage 3 engines are nominal. Copy. Second stage separation, uh, four liquid-fueled engines have completed their task for today, dropping away at four minutes of powered flight remaining. Soyuz is being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz's third stage. Engine is providing 30 tons of thrust and will burn for four minutes and two seconds. Copy, thank you. Four hundred and uh, twenty seconds. Pitch your roll nominal copy. Two minutes remaining before the spacecraft achieves orbit. 440. Vehicle stabilization is nominal copy. Now seven minutes and 30 seconds into the flight of Soyuz and the Expedition 18 crew. Velocity of spacecraft now almost 13,500 miles an hour. Launch structural parameters are nominal. Once the third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare it for orbital operations. These stored commands, called time tag commands, allow many of the Soyuz's systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers at precise times stored in those computers. 490 vehicle stabilization is nominal. Copy. 500 seconds. Nominal flight. Copy. Eight minutes and 30 seconds into the flight, continuing to receive live in-cabin views of Commander Sergei Lonchikov on the left and Flight Engineer Mike Fink on the right. Okay, we see the uh, separation contact and we see... Mission Control Moscow confirms third stage cutoff and separation. The single liquid-fueled engine has now shut down and has dropped away at an altitude of about 125 statute miles. Third stage is now performing an avoidance maneuver by opening an outgassing valve in the liquid oxygen tank. Okay. We're given the control to answer to Moscow. Thank you. Thank you.
We have uh, confirm spacecraft separation. So use capsule and crew inside are now safely in orbit. Spacecraft is automatically beginning to initiate its pre-programmed commanding for antenna and solar arrays to deploy. Visiting vehicle officer confirms that all deployments are complete. The Soyuz's third stage steering jets are now firing to separate the booster from the capsule and the Soyuz is orbiting at an altitude of about 143 by 118 miles. That orbit will be raised systematically over the course of the next two days, placing it in close proximity to the International Space Station for a final rendezvous and docking set for 3.33 a.m. Central Time Tuesday. Control of the spacecraft from here on will be overseen from the control facility in Korolev.